Let me see the hands of those of you who are married. Those of you who are married. Let me see those. Okay, let me see the hands of those of you who, date, who are dating. Let me, see hands of, let me see the hands of who dated somebody in the past. You're not married. Now, let me, let me say this to you, okay? Let, let, me, let, me, let me say something to you. When a man takes his wife or his girlfriend out to dinner on, a, on an anniversary or to celebrate some special event, when a man has been married to his wife on his anniversary, on his wedding night at the reception, it is not the will of God that you dance with your wife when you get up on the honeymoon to Jesus keep me near the cross. Okay, y'all, y'all, okay, y'all, 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 you, you backed up. Nobody want to be with their boo in the car hold a hand to some precious Lord, take my hand. <laughs> or let me speak to the real folk, not some of y'all deep folk who are just so holy that you, you're so holy that you, you, you don't even pass gas or have mucus in your nose. You just, you that, you that, that holy. When something is not profane, vulgar, obscene, Nothing is wrong with a man saying to his wife, it's so amazing to be loved. I followed you to the moon in the sky above. Ooh. Nothing, nothing in the world is wrong. Am I right or am I wrong what I'm saying? Now, now, many of you would totally disagree because you follow the separation of model. And the question I want to raise is this. When you had your children, what were you listening to? None of y'all were talking about, oh, come on, let's worship. Oh, hallelujah, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No, you wasn't. And you weren't thinking about Jesus. So does that make you a sinner? We get so deep at times that what happens is we're unable. So your, our lives just shouldn't be one way on Sunday. Every day there should be a way that we listen to stuff that's positive. That it, it, I don't act a certain way in church. And then when I leave, I'm, I'm different. So I, ain't gonna, I, don't want the church, I, don't, I don't want the church to know that I like Sam Cook. For what? For what? Why, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? That should be nothing that we listen to during the week that we should be embarrassed on Sunday. Unless our lives are compartmentalized by this sacred, secular doctrine. It should be a lifestyle of worship and a lifestyle of Christianity, and that's not all. You can go to the ball game. You can go see the Falcons play and still be a Christian. You don't have to be down there when they, Michael Turner's going to tell the hallelujah. You, know, you, don't have to, you can shout, say, go Falcons. Okay, y'all not listening to what I'm trying to You're not listening to what I'm trying to say. And many people will not be Christians because we have been so rigid in our, in our, and so what happens, people are like, I can't be Christian because they so much better. They so higher. They, and that's not the way Christ lived. Christ, Christ didn't separate from culture. They accused him of being wine, a wine bibbler. He ate with sinners. He talked with harlots, prostitutes, the least, the last, and the lost. So if that was the ministry of Jesus, then what is our ministry? So don't have a life where, okay, I can do some things on Sunday, but I can't do them on Monday. So, you know, and, and I know, I know, and I'm not saying come here and just, and I don't think anything was wrong with Rita Franklin's R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I found my thrill. We were just, it was a fun moment where people were like, oh, this you should have done that somewhere else. Well, would, would it have been right there? Because if it's wrong in this 
context. If it's sin, if it's sin in this moment, biblically, sin, sin is not okay in some areas and, and not okay in others. You understand what I'm trying to say? You know, okay, it's okay to steal in the mall, just don't steal in church. I want you to think about how, 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 how idiotic it sounds, how we don't really think, we don't think through our faith. It, it, you know, you, you can have a moment, as, as long as it's not destructive, it's not vulgar, it's not profane, it's not obscene, it does not bring about lust. It's just a, a you, can, you can play Uno at, the, at Thanksgiving dinner, you can do that. You can watch Family Feud, The Price is Right. You don't have to be there, you know, putting oil on everybody because they want to watch some on Thanksgiving. Because what we do, we really run people further away from the faith. 